So the way that we're going about making this game plan is, in essence, its own manifesting technique. I want to give a big thanks to Wallpix for sponsoring today's video. Remember, you can use Lior10 to get 10% off your own Wallpix. The link is in the description below. I love how my wall is turning out. You guys know that I use this as a vision board, but I added some of my own pictures with my friends and pictures from my travels, and now I see it every morning when I wake up, and it just makes me so excited. It puts me in the best mood mood it raises my vibration they come in the mail so fast and they're so easy to put on the wall i moved them around a little bit i structured them a little bit differently but i really like how it looks so if you want to get your own wall picks the link is in the description below and you get 10 percent off with Lior 10. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lior Alexandra. I'm so happy and so excited to be back. You don't know, I've been waiting all day to get back to this chair and to get back to making videos. You guys, I missed it so much. What's a break even? Like, I don't want to take any of those things anymore. When you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. So today, I just want to give you guys a super simple, fun video. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a blueprint together, a manifesting game plan that's going to simplify all these different techniques and all these different ways of manifesting what you want. So on my channel, I like to come up with new and fun ways to... Um, attract the things that you desire using the law of attraction and you know I borrow from other places and I make things simpler and I really just kind of talk about what I find to be fun and effective but I know that that could sometimes get difficult or overwhelming so basically what I've come up with is just a step-by-step -step way to make this super customized personalized and tailored for you this is perfect if you're just starting with the law of attraction and you don't know really where to start or if you kind of need help just getting organized in your manifesting. It's super simple, there's not much to it, and I think it's really going to help you. And to supplement it, I've also created a few PDFs for you to uh, print out, to download and print out. They'll be on my blog, I'll leave a link in the description below. On the blog, you'll also find notes from this video and step-by-step -step break breakdown of that. The blog is a little bit slow, bear with me, it will load eventually. So the reason why I decided to do this is because I know how overwhelming it gets to people but also because upon creating the love mastery program which is really like a hands-on how to break down then build up then manifest I realized how much you guys like that and how effective it really is so that's where this came from that's where this little idea came from so basically what this is going to be is it's a goal orientate orientated approach to manifesting using the law of attraction. So all you're going to really need right now is your notebook. I would get a fresh notebook if you're starting out new or if you wanna, you know, start from fresh if you haven't been able to manifest what you've been what you've been desiring, and a pen. And you're gonna flip to the first page or to the fresh page. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to make a list of all the things that you wanna manifest. And the reason why we're doing that is so that we can get a little bit organized and get all our thoughts down on paper. So you can go ahead and start doing that first. So let me answer a couple questions about that. The way we're going to do this is we're going to manifest one thing at a time. I highly recommend going through this one day at a time. So you choose one thing to manifest one day, go throughout the whole process, and then maybe next week do another, another thing. Now, it doesn't have to happen and then you move on to the next thing. I just don't want you to overwhelm yourself by trying to manifest a bunch of different things at once, especially if you're new. When I was new, I started really small, manifesting free things, parking spaces, you know, text messages from people. And I did that really slowly until I build up and now I can just make a list of things and be like, this is gonna happen, this will happen, this will happen. Take it away, universe. So a good way to start is to just make the list, Get it all out there and then take it one by one. So this method is super fun and super easy. What you're going to do is you're going to grab one thing off your list right now and you're going to flip to a fresh page. So let's say you're trying to manifest a new place to live. So you're going to write my home at the top. Let's say you're trying to manifest your ideal body, body shape, body weight, whatever. You're going to write my perfect body. Let's say you're trying to manifest health, my perfect flawless health. Something at the top, name it, set your intention. Just writing that out there at the top, just what it is. Don't say, I want this. Just write what it is at the top. Just doing that is setting your intention, making it very clear to the universe what it is that you want. We're going to decide on a tool to manifest this. We're going to find a mentor 
we're going to come up with a mantra and then we're going to answer a couple of questions and then we're going to create a schedule for ourselves. We're going to completely organize our lives and just having that organization is really going to get your brain on the clear, clean, concise pathway to manifesting perfectly and in perfect timing. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to look at what you want to do to manifest and think about this a little bit what's a good method to use for this thing so i always tell you guys that all the tools that i give you on this channel all the methods all the techniques they can work for anything and that's true however i do think that there are certain things that just as humans as the way that we think they resonate better with certain um desires so let's say you wanted to manifest your ideal body right so you would go through all the tools that you know and a good way to do this is to just go through my videos I have a whole playlist which is called law of attraction ultimate manifesting toolkit or something I'll link that below go through it and decide what tool works best for you if you're trying to manifest your perfect body like you were saying like we were saying a good tool would be the placebo effect and the vision board so the second thing you would write after the title is tool and you would choose what tool so going off of our example i would do a uh, tool is placebo and a vision board and take your time figuring this out seeing what works for you maybe it's the two cup method maybe it is acting as if maybe it's scripting maybe it's journaling maybe it's making doing a manifestation ritual maybe it's meditating on it and then moving on with your life whatever method that resonates with you doesn't have to be in my toolkit video either it could be something that you're familiar with abundance log maybe anything anything that you would like to use for this you're gonna just put it write that down there so for manifesting perfect body my tool is the placebo effect and a vision board because you know um a perfect body is a visual thing it's something that you want to see on yourself so what i would do is i would get a bunch of pictures of the kind of body type that i would want to have myself and uh, create a vision board with that. Now, my placebo effect might be drinking more water or intermittent fasting, or if I do 10 minutes of cardio every day, I will have this body. I do 10 minutes of cardio every day, so I have this body. Another example, let's say that your title, this manifestation is have a successful, abundant, flourishing business. Your tool could be acting as if, so you act as if you're a boss. Another tool could be abundance log, so you keep track of all your um, abundant finances, just like I have a video on that, I'll link that below for you as well. Your tool could also be visualization, rituals, meditating, you know, being present, being mindful, those are all tools. And then mentor, you want to be great in business, so maybe a good mentor is Grant Cardone or Gary V. You find somebody out there online, you research, and find somebody that resonates with you and that you feel like taking this person's advice is going to help me with creating this flourishing business. It doesn't have to be somebody online. Maybe there's somebody that you look up to in person. Reach out to them, see if they will mentor you. Find a mentor. Finding a mentor is a new concept on this channel, but it is a very, very strong manifesting technique. You are putting yourself around, exposing yourself to people that you wanna be like. Find a mentor. So what do we have already? We have our title. We have the tool we want to use. We have our mentor. And next, it's time to come up with a mantra. So going back to the body thing, your mantra could be, I have a healthy, fit, beautiful body. Or if you want to manifest your business flourishing, your mantra is, I am a successful business owner. I have complete financial freedom. You want to manifest love. I am with the love of my life. You create a mantra. This mantra is going to be very important and it's going to be a big part of your day. You can look up mantras online that have to do with whatever it is that you're trying to manifest or you can come up with one yourself. The only rules your mantra has to follow is to be in the present tense, to be very positive and to be something that you can see yourself saying a few times a day out loud, writing it, even saying it to other people. So now that you've decided on what you want to manifest, you set your intention. You chose a tool, you chose a mentor, you came up with a mantra. Now it's time to continue the manifesting exercises. So what you're going to do is think about how you felt this entire time. This entire time where you've been gathering your supplies to attract this thing that you're trying to manifest. 
How are you feeling when you're looking at this mentor, when you're looking at the tool and you're visualizing yourself receiving this once you do this game plan, once you complete this game plan? Did you feel happy? Did you feel content? Did you feel accomplished, relieved? Whatever it is that you felt, I want you to make a list of those feelings. Ask yourself, how will I feel once I achieve this goal? And write down a list of everything you will feel. So let's say that I'm manifesting my perfect body. I will feel confident, happy, content. I will feel more outgoing because I want to show myself off. I want to be around people. I want to be more social. So you fill out that list. You make that list on the same page as everything else. This is all one game plan. The next step is to decide how you are going to act. Now this could be seen as its own manifestation technique, but you know, just understand that it's part of this process of creating a game plan. How will you act in this present moment in order to feel the emotions you listed in the last list. So I said that I'm going to feel confident. So what can I do now to act confident, to feel confident? I can fake it till I make it. I can put myself together. I can, you know, use power poses. I can listen to inspirational music. I can talk to myself, talk myself up, do some affirmations. How will I feel happy? Do things that make you feel happy. Make a list of ways that you're going to act now in order to make yourself feel those emotions that you just listed. This is very important to create the schedule, the ultimate schedule. So go ahead and do that. And when you're done, we're going to create the schedule. Now here's how you're going to plan out the next week. What I want you to do is I want you to create a schedule for yourself. Monday through Saturday from the moment that you wake up till nighttime, you know your own schedule. Now in the schedule, I want you to put in, you know, if you have work, if you have school, if you have appointments, fill all of that stuff in because around it, you're going to create your game plan. You're going to utilize that page that we just made and you're going to put that into the schedule and you're going to follow the schedule. And I say Monday through Saturday because you are going to take one day to rest, let go, practice self-love. You can decide what day that is, what day you're taking off to not do anything, not manifest, just let go and probably enter flow. So the way that I would do this is I would actually do Sunday through um, Friday because I take Saturdays off. Saturday is the Sabbath, so I take that off. And the first thing I would do is any appointments I have for the week, I'd write that out. My shooting schedule, I would write that out. And then I will find time to implement whatever tool I chose into my day. So. Back to the body thing. I said that my placebo effect, my placebo pill will be to drink more water and to intermittent fast. So in my schedule, I will put every so often, drink a cup of water, drink a cup of water. Every so every few hours, intermittent fasting, you only eat within an eight hour period. So I will indicate my eight hour period of eating in that day. I also put vision board. So I will create a time in my schedule to create my vision board, to add to my vision board and to look at and feel my vision board. So I do my vision boards even either with my wall picks, which I have on my wall and I just kind of take time every morning to look at them and to feel good or, or to add them. I order more, I just ordered more and I'm about to put some up or I will sit down on Pinterest and I will work on my vision board there. So you create time to do whatever tool that you chose, every single day you put that in there. Then we move on to the mentor. So the mentor thing, you have to find time to either talk to your mentor, listen to them, read their books, watch their videos, whatever it is, put time into your daily schedule where you listen and inter or interact with or absorb whatever information and in whatever way you can information from your mentor. So if you are trying to manifest your perfect body, let's say maybe you want to use a health coach, a dietitian, or a fitness persona or fitness coach as your mentor. You set aside time every day to watch their videos, see what they're up to, and kind of just imitate whatever it is that they're doing. And then it's time to use your mantra. Whatever mantra you picked, you're actually going to write it into your schedule every few hours. Maybe put it on post-its, put it around your room or put it on different hours in your schedule so you remember to say that mantra to yourself a few times every day. This is going to reprogram the way you look at yourself and look at your life. It's going to reprogram your subconscious beliefs. So we found the time to put our tools into use, our mentor into use, our mantra into use. And then we have to make sure that the rest of the time we spend it 
the rest of our times when we're not doing things that we must be doing, we spend that time doing things that make us feel the emotions that we listed in that set, in that first list. And now we know how to spend that time because we made a list of things that make us feel that way. So the way that we're going about making this game plan is in essence its own manifesting technique. And what we're doing here is we're using a goal-oriented approach where we do whatever we can in order to facilitate that attraction, that manifestation. So we're allowing the universe all the room that it needs to step in because we're not worried, we're not doubting, we have no negative emotions, and we're focusing on doing whatever we can to help push that along. This is going to accelerate your manifesting process. This is going to allow you to really get whatever it is that you want. And all you have to do is fill in the blanks with your own desire. You can do this. Focus on the process, trust the process, focus on the end result and enjoy your life. Enjoy this. Having goals is going to make you feel so much better in general. And when you feel better, you align to that life where you get everything that will make you feel even better. That's how manifesting works, guys, and it's instantaneous. You can do this. If you need a little bit of extra help, make sure you check out the blog. I have an example over there. I have a PDF for you to fill out and print out, so you can do it on your own or you can write it down in your own notebook, whatever it is that you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was really helpful to you. I hope that I helped frame manifesting into an easier, digestible, step-by-step -step approach. You know that that's how I like to manifest. I don't believe that using Universal laws is difficult. I think it's easy. I think it's fun and that's how it should be handled So go and make your blueprint go and enjoy and thank you for watching and and I missed you guys so much Thank you for being patient with me while I took my little break and till my next video as always keep your vibrations way 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 up bye <laughs>